Hi, the distance of TCP IP network is limited to about 328 feet. When the two network devices stay beyond 328 feet, like this two router, we cannot just use the CAT6 Ethernet cable to connect them directly, otherwise the signal will start dropping. In this video, I'm going to show you two different methods to connect the two network router when the distance is beyond 328 feet. We still can use the CAT6 Ethernet cable or you can use the fiber optic cable. Okay, now let's get started with the simple solution, use the CAT6 Ethernet cable. Here we got two rows of CAT6 Ethernet cable. In order to repeat the data network, we can use this PoE standard. One PoE standard can repeat another 328 feet. So if we place this PoE standard at the middle, totally we could get about 600 feet connection between these two routers. You can see there's two ports. One is the input and there's two output. Why do we have two output? That means we also can connect another router, the second, I mean the first router to the second PoE output port. Okay, let's just make a quick connection. And I'm going to connect the cable from the first router to the input port. And from here, I just pick one of the output port will be the same. Either one will be five. And it's going to connect to the new cable. So you, you were wondering there's no power input for this PoE standard, right? So we cannot use the external power source. The reason is because working with, with this PoE standard, we need to have the, another equipment. It's called PoE injector. This is the PoE injector. Usually we need to place this PoE injector just next to the router so it can inject, I mean, inject the power to this Ethernet cable inventory. It can reach to this PoE standard. Okay, now let's just move to the router, the first router. And first I'm going to power this PoE injector. Once you plug the power, you can, you can see the power indicator is on. It's, it's a little hard to see, but it's, in, it's on. Okay, now I need to use this short punch code to link the LAN port to the first router. So you have the data from this router. And now you can connect a long run CAT6 Ethernet cable to the PoE port. Once the plug, plug in, you can see the PoE port is on. That means this PoE injector is inject the power to this CAT6 Ethernet cable. Inventory it will arrive at this PoE standard. You can see the LAN port is start flashing. That means this PoE standard is getting both power and data from the first PoE first router. Okay, now we can move to the second router. From here, it's quite easy. We just need to plug to one of the LAN port. Now you can see that the indicators is start flashing. That means the second router is getting the data. It's quite easy, right? So simply, you just need to have this PoE standard plus the PoE injector. You need this PoE injector. The reason is because it will send the power through this first router of CAT6 Ethernet cable and reach to this PoE standard. Now we can see the LAN port, the first port is start flashing, that means getting power. Also, the second LAN port is also on, that means it's communication to this new router. This is the first method. Okay, now we move to the second method to use the fiber optic cable. The fiber optic cable can reach up to 10 kilometers, always 3,000 feet. So when we use the fiber optic cable to connect these two router, we do need to have any extension solution sitting at the middle like the PoE standard. This is the pre-made fiber optic cable. The connector is being made in the factory, so I don't need to use the fusion tool to spy the connector in the field. This is the LC connector. But you may already notice, we cannot connect this connector to the router directly. See, it doesn't match. Here we have the R345 network port, it's working as the electricity signal, and here we got the fiber optic signal. So we cannot just connect the fiber optic cable to the router directly. In this case, we need to have this media converter. You see, we need one of the media converters sitting each of these router. From here, we got the RJ45 network port. This is the port we work with the fiber, work with the router. 
and this is the SP, SP slot which is supposed to work with the fiber optic cable but you see it's empty so we still need to have this SFP transceiver so we need to install this SFP transceiver to the SFP slot then we can connect the LC connector to this media converter this SFP transceiver will convert the electricity signal to fiber optic signal okay now let me just pick one of the code and connect to this SFP transceiver you may wonder it, why we just need one code, right? Usually we need to have you need to need two fiber optic code, one for transmitting, another for receiving. The reason is because we are using a BIDI transceiver and it used a different wavelength. So one fiber optic code will be enough to sending and receiving the signal. Okay, now let me just place this media converter to the first router. And here we also need a power source for this media converter. Okay, this is RJ45 network port, so we should use this short punch code to link this network port and also pick one of the port from the router. Oh, it's ready for the first router. Okay, now let's move to the second router. We also need the media converter, this one, so we can work with the new router. And also need to install this SAP transceiver. From here, I can get this fiber optic cable. You can see I used the A on the other side, so I need to make sure we're using the same cable, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, from here, we also need to use this short punch code. So we can link this media converter to this router. So the last thing is now just power up this media converter. All right. I can see the indicators on, that means the link is start working. It's quite simple, right? You just need to add two media converter, both sides, to convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. So maximum distance, you can reach over 3,000 feet. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.